oh my gosh, everything's just piled on the floor. When I look at the clothes, it reaches the point where you think, are these brands just becoming like fast fashion because they're producing so much? And is it going to reach a point where the bubble bursts and they just become less desirable because they're too expensive and nothing special anymore? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about brands, designer brands, fast fashion brands, how fast is fashion really going and has it become faster as time has gone by? Well, I really had to do a little bit of research to see just how many drops Louis Vuitton does every year of, you know, their collections, how many collections H&M has. And what inspired me to make this video? Well, my boyfriend told me this would be a good topic, but I was looking at Instagram this morning and I noticed a new menswear collection from Louis Vuitton, which looks like it will, I don't know, it's just extremely random. I'm not sure if Virgil or the design team may have designed this before, but it's a new collection with like camo and these eyeballs, and then there's this puffy speedy, and I'm like, wow, this is this is really cool. But it was only last week that I was talking about the new Pharrell collection, and everyone was going crazy about that and talking about all those amazing bags. And now it's only been one week, and now we're talking about another collection with these eyeballs. Not only that, but just recently, you know, this year at Louis Vuitton, I feel like there's been so many drops. So in terms of runway shows, Louis Vuitton does do quite a few collections a year. So they have the resort collection for men and women. They have the spring collection for men and women, the pre-fall collection, the fall collection, and that's it. But I think because Louis Vuitton offer a really wide range of products for both men and women, that makes their product selection really huge. And it means that they have things coming out all the time. Whereas a brand like Chanel only caters towards like women's women's uh, clothes. So they seem to have a lot less collections than a brand like Louis Vuitton, which it just seems like they just have so many new bags all the time. You know, at the start of the year, we had the the Kusama collection part two, which was a huge collection. Then not only that, we had some like Valentine's Day collection, we had like some little capsule collections, like more colored speedies. And like, then we had the giant collection come out. Then we also had this like Damier Azul collection, which was another capsule collection, another Mother's Day collection with iridescent pink, mono glam collection as well. We had by the pool part one, then we had by the pool part two. Like this is all in one year, guys. And then not to mention all the other menswear drops as well. Like there was that Aquarell collection and other things as well. There's so many things that came out, guys. And we're still anticipating some of the new bags, like the Atlantis bag coming out and some of those micro bags, and not to mention Pharrell's collection and these new bags, like the Speedy 20. Like, there's just something coming out every week from Louis Vuitton. I'm like, wow, I really cannot keep up anymore because they just produce so many bags. Like, in only six months, there's been so many collections. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like it seems almost like fast fashion. And I don't know if Louis Vuitton always release things this fast, but I really feel like they have more capsule collections, like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. I don't, I'm, I really don't know if they always did that. And maybe because they're emphasizing or they're investing more into their men's department as well. It seems like they have more collections because they have a lot of awesome men's collections as well. But I wonder if long term this will impact the brand because they're simply producing too many things at once because I have seen this impact on other brands in the past. So this is a bit of a, I don't know if you can completely compare Louis Vuitton to Topshop, but I worked for Topshop back in 2011 where fast fashion or international fast fashion brands were just coming to Australia. And I remember back in around 20, was it like 2010? I can't remember guys, but a while back when I was like 20, I went to London and Paris and I remember seeing like Primark and like Forever 21 and Topshop and what else was there like River Island like we did not have these stores in Australia but I remember going to London and seeing these massive fast fashion stores and being like absolutely shook I was just like I can't believe that everything is this cheap and so like on point with the trends because prior to like in my teenage years, I was always into Sports Girl and Dottie, and those fast fashion stores are a lot slower than brands like Zara and H&M, so I was just used to that kind of like more slow-paced, slow-paced fast fashion that we used to have in Australia, like JJ's and 
Dangerfield, which still did overproduce because they had outlets and that sort of thing as well, but just they weren't as on top of the trend. So when I went to Europe and I saw that they had these stores with so much more mass scale of options available, the prices were so cheap. I was just, my, oh, my mind was blown. And then so when I went back to Australia after my holiday, I ended up getting a, a job at Topshop and it was just incredible. Like the trends, like the amount of cool fashion we had, like the pricing. I was buying clothes every week when I worked there. I had like new outfits every weekend. I loved it. I felt empowered. I loved shopping, but it got to a point after a year, guys, I was really good at being the fitting room person. And I remember just having so much stress from like people piling clothes onto me. There being clothes all over the fitting room, not to mention that every like few months we'd have a sale and the whole front section of the store was just on sale because we had too much stock like it was not selling through I'm not sure if it was because of the location but I really think that was just like too much fashion and then Topshop ended up expanding and opening up more stores in Australia and it ended up that there I don't know whether it's they weren't as on top of the trends as Zara and H&M that their brand became less popular in Australia but they couldn't keep up with the selling and I think they over expanded and over produced too fast and they had to go into administration in Australia and anyway I ended up leaving after four and a half years but I could see it was possibly going to close down a few years later and it did just because I could see they were overproducing and they had too much stock and it was just getting overwhelming and it just all looks like crap at the end of the day because there was too much of it and it was just too overwhelming and also they actually increased their price a little bit as well I remember working there when it first started it was really good pricing and then they upped the prices and a lot less people started buying because it was just like not as cheap as H&M and I think the reason why H&M and Zara are so popular is because they have so many collections so apparently uh H&M has around 16 uh, 12 to 16 collections a year and then Zara from what I googled has 24 new collections each year and you know it's just incredible how, how fast they keep up with the trends but I cannot shop at Zara anymore guys because it gives me flashbacks to when I worked at Topshop when I go there like everything is so messy oh my gosh everything's just piled on the floor when I look at the clothes like they're just some things I mean you know in any fast fashion store you can sometimes find a good like thing like just there's some things that are okay, but most things, like, they're half-made, like, the material's not nice. Oh, gosh, like, I just cannot deal with it anymore. The only fast fashion store I shop at now is Uniqlo for, like, heat tech and just... I really like the Uniqlo U collection, but I, I really, like, I know ethically you shouldn't shop at fast fashion stores either. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent now, but what I'm trying to say is I've noticed that, you know fast fashion has become faster and it's just getting to the point where things are just losing its pizzazz because there's too much of it things go on sale really fast you know I recently really got into uh, the Uniqlo Marnie collection and it literally went on sale like a month later because it seems like there was another collection that came out from Uniqlo like Jonathan Anderson and there's just so many little collections and you know, with fast fashion churning out clothes like this and then just kind of like, I don't know where the clothes go, guys, but Louis Vuitton seem to be releasing stuff almost as fast as a store like Topshop, it seems. Like, I don't know about you guys, but they have so many things coming out all the time and it's not as frequent as a fast fashion store, but I wonder if the rate at which Louis Vuitton release their things is going to impact them on the long term because as I said sometimes if you raise the prices too high and overproduce it will just mean you have so much stock left and you have nothing to do with it and it can really damage the business long term so I don't think Louis Vuitton is obviously going to go out of business but I have seen the effects of that long term and it can actually go down really fast. Like a store like Topshop, they really overexpanded too fast and they went, you know, they went under. And I don't, I think they're like slowly shutting stores all over the world now. You can buy it on ASOS, that sort of thing. But they stopped doing their un Topshop Unique collection, which was like their runway shows. And, you know, they really, they really had to cut costs somehow because they overexpanded too fast. So I wonder if, you know, the way in which brands are increasing their prices it's going to stop people buying it and then 
impact on them in the long term or is there enough super wealthy people that are just going to throw their money at the brands and they're just going to stay as popular as they are in this day and age because a lot can change in 10 years guys i saw fast fashion go from absolutely like hardly anything to it in australia to like pretty much the shops that are dominating in Australia now are international brands. It's these luxury stores, it's H&M, it's Zara, it's Uniqlo, you know, Sports Girl, JJ's, Just Jeans, they're really not popular anymore, guys. And I do look at, you know, some shopping malls that used to have these Australian brands like, you know, Alana Hill and I don't know, yeah, like Sassen Bike. They were massive like in the 2000s, but they, all these local brands, they really suffered when these international brands became more popular. And I wonder if we'll see another change in 10 years with the prices going so high and with the frequency at which these brands produce things. So brands like Chanel as well, I know they've always had, um, you know, around six collections a year, but, you know, they also have their Coco Beach collection, they have their Coco Niche collection. Sometimes they'll do like some other capsule collection, like when they did the Pharrell collection, which was so random, but yeah, they do have a lot like coming out every year as well, like with Chanel. And I think if Chanel also had like a menswear range, like Louis Vuitton, they could be just as they could produce probably just as much as Louis Vuitton, it seems. Probably not as much, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Louis Vuitton in particular, I feel like really are just going a bit crazy lately. And yeah, do you agree, guys? Do you think Louis Vuitton have been producing more than usual? Because yeah, just looking back like 10 years ago, I feel like they are. Um, now, a brand that I feel like is still very slow and is why I still find it quite luxurious is Hermes. So if you go onto the Vogue uh, runway app, you'll notice that they only do like fall and spring, fall and spring for men and women each year. So they have a lot less runway shows and I find at the rate in which they release bags, it's very slow. Like, you know, they had the, the funky things they've had recently is like this daisy print, probably like the bleed on wheels. Um, they, they have done some very special things. I'll have some seasonal colors every few months, but it's really not as novelty or as like mass produced as Louis Vuitton and Chanel, which is why I, I tend to like it. But, and I think that's, you know, a direction Hermes will probably stay in. And there are still brands like that, that really don't produce as much as yeah, other big brands like Louis Vuitton and Chanel, but it reaches the point where you think, are these brands just becoming like fast fashion because they're producing so much? And is it going to reach a point where the bubble bursts and they just become less desirable because they're too expensive and nothing special anymore? So anyways, guys, thanks for listening to my blubby video. I had a lot to talk about, but I don't know if I was saying it in the right order. There was actually more I wanted to say, but I was trying to simplify what was in my brain. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please comment below your thoughts on this topic as well, and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!